Bugsy Bug here, and welcome back to another OCTober video, even though it is, like, halfway through November, because I've been having problems lately, which made it so this video was thrown back by nearly 20 days. That aside, today I'll be talking about the two last characters for it, who are very creatively named Light and Dark. One of them is made with the prompt for the character to be based around ghosts, and the second is for them to be based around something that is Halloween slash spoopy, which I used to make it vaguely related, but I was a bit more interested in telling the story than making sure that all of them lined up exactly perfectly with all of the prompts, creative liberty and all that. Anyway, the two characters are the ones which created most stuff in the world. They created the world with light being the one who created the souls, and dark being the one who turned them into spirits at the time of their passing. Also, I'm just gonna say, Lantern is actually one of those spirits, and so is Fizz. They're basically spirits of past creatures, which have the ability to interact with the world, or even possess certain objects or materials. So, as they came into being, most of them worshipped dark more than light because they hoped that if they would, they would get safe passage into being a spirit. Light didn't understand this and thought that her brother was just somehow better than her. A big fight broke out and since both of them were immortal, they couldn't stop each other and Light wouldn't stop fighting for a second, the dark could, could explain what happened. And so eventually to make sure that everything wasn't thrown out of balance, Eventually, all of the time deities from across the world, along with the four elemental deities and the protectors of every forest and land, worked together. They created two crystals capable of locking great beings away. And they succeeded. Sadly, the spell to lock light away in the crystal costed something. Locking away a being that powerful in a crystal requires another being of the same level of power to be locked away as well as a sacrifice. They could not create only one. Dark agreed. His power was as great as lights, and therefore, with him being locked away, then everything would be back in order. If he was not, and only light was, then he would have more power. And even if he wouldn't have used that power, it would have thrown things far out of balance. Although the two are now locked away, inside their crystals they still perform their duties. If they didn't, then how would anything get done? The only time whenever anyone can see a glimpse of where they are currently is when they are created and when they become a spirit, but only for a second. Well, they aren't dead, the crystals have been lost to time, and even if the crystals were to be broken, that would just lead to them coming out. Dark hopes that if they ever do get found, then maybe he can finally talk to Light about what happened and explain it. It's been so long since the story took place, decades even, that while most of the deities that were around at the time are still there, over time it seems like the memories have faded a little. Now it's told to the youngest beings as a story of where where Dark was jealous of all of the adoration that Light got for being the one who created the souls, and that Dark was evil, being seen as only black and white, when instead it was much more complicated. Anyway, that's what I meant by this being more complicated than just this character is this, because I have been thinking of this for a while. Anyway, I'm going to talk more about the characters themselves, and their designs and all of that. So light is obviously the one shown on the top of the art. Also, the reason the art's a PNG is because speed paint broke again. Anyway, that aside. So light is very bright, mainly using yellow, and she has bright wings, which are made just purely out of sunlight, with little orbs that emanate from it. Dark is made with obviously much darker colors, and his, and his wings and the mist are both made from souls who have been yet to turn into spirits, which means he never gets any time to have privacy. What this he can do is be strained for like a minute to say something that other people don't know because it's very straining to 
immediately turn every single soul into a spirit. So, yeah, it is very complicated, and I'm pretty proud of the characters. Probably at the end of the month, I'm going to make a video that's just going to be talking about all of the characters put together instead of people having to watch every single other one. The reason it's probably going to be so much later is because I'm going to actually write a script for once and line out every single character's relationship, all of their powers, all of that. And it's going to be very, well, probably not very long, because it's not just going to be all of the audio from the others pushed together. But it is going to be longer than these videos, which are normally not as long. Anyway, I have a wonderful time zone, and I will bug you later, and I am so sorry this is extremely late. <laughs>